Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. Today we're going to be assembling the Ranar E6400 Elite 6 color 4 station Ranar floor press. Let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and then uh, get this thing uncrated. I gotta unbolt the bottom of the uh, uh, the bottom of the press legs to release it from the the pallet, and then we'll come back when it's uh, when it's time to do the steps. Okay, before we get started on step one, we're just gonna go through the hardware box um, at the bottom of the box. This is for the the E6400 <clears throat> but at the bottom of the box you have your your owner's uh, manual but everything in the box is everything you see here with the exception of the micro knobs those were inside the uh, crate uh, but you have um, you have your on your off contact uh, adjustment bolts and then you have your micro knobs with the rings and then you have your side platen uh, knobs, you have your rotary arm uh, bolts, the shims uh, for the arms, for the uh, rotary arms in case they're, they're off, they need to be leveled. You can stick one at a time on either side to level it out. And then you have your registration bearings, uh, your shaft collars here in case you need shaft collars or you're going to need them, uh, your bolts to lift the swivel. Uh, your turnbuckle bolts and your platen brackets and then your allen wrenches and then you have your clamp bars your actual turnbuckles and uh, everything else is pretty self-explanatory um, as far as where they go on the press uh, except for these knobs uh, we're going to find out where these go but that's it and then you have your your uh, your rotary arms uh, this is a four station so I'm going to have four arms I have six color all the uh, the heads are over there with the exception of this one that's already set up and uh, that's it let's uh, cut out here and we're going to go to step actually step two technically because we leveled the bottom of the press for step one and uh, we're going to go to step two 